Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Erica Suter and I am excited to see you all again for another video on female athlete performance training. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so that you can get the latest updates on holistic performance training for female athletes. Today is one of my favorite topics and that is speed development. And I'm here to help you navigate some common mistakes so that you can improve your speed. So the first tip is to stop the long, slow distance running. So what that does is it does not develop the energy system for speed. So it is developing more of the aerobic energy system. And a lot of female athletes get that box ticked in their practices, their technical training sessions, and their games. And when they're in a jogging motor pattern or they're running slower for extended periods of time, they're training their body to be in that motor pattern and they're not training their body to be in actual sprint mechanics so that they can run at their fastest. So sprint mechanics, making sure the ball of the foot is striking the ground as hard as you can. Speed is all about creating vertical force and jogging does not do that. So please stop doing that. The second tip is to make sure that you are not resting a short amount of time between sprints. This is actually one of the most common mistakes I see people make is they will run a 30 to 40 yard sprint as fast as they can. They'll do everything right. They'll write their time down only to jog back to the starting line and then go again 30 seconds later. And they did not get that full rest to be able to give their max effort that next sprint. And again, it's all about exposing the nervous system to the motor pattern that you want to expose it to. In this case, we want to make sure that they're reaching full sprint mechanics. And again, they're going at max effort and they're aiming for their best time within these drills. The best time to rest after a 30 to 40 yard sprint is definitely a couple of minutes. Sometimes I go longer if we're doing a higher volume of sprints, especially in the off season, so that we can continue to have consistent times for each sprint. And we're really training that CP energy system for speed development. And the duration of a sprint needs to absolutely be less than six seconds, aim for less than five seconds. That's when you're doing speed development. If you're going any higher than that, then you're, you're out of that speed energy system. Now, the final tip is to make sure you're not replacing speed and strength training with more skill sessions. So a lot of skill sessions operate in a very tight tight space. There is a lot of work done on the ball. There's a lot of quick feet and those drills are great, but not for speed development. So speed development's not necessarily about feet quickness or skill acquisition on the ball. Speed development is actually about that vertical force production and making sure that the ball of the foot is striking the ground hard. The knee is driving up, the posture is nice and tall and the arm and leg mechanics are coordinated and done using the opposite arm and leg. And we're making sure that the arms aren't swaying across the body. They're just staying by the side, hugging the rib cage and everything is smooth and girls aren't wasting energy and moving inefficiently. The ball only makes things worse. The ball, A, slows a girl down in a sprint drill, and it also distracts her from what she really needs to focus on, and that's her, her sprint mechanics and her contact with the ground and what her arms are doing and what her knees are doing. So if you want to develop speed, get rid of the ball altogether. So those are my free, three tips. If you guys start executing those now and stick to them year around, then you are on your way to becoming a faster athlete. It is seriously that simple that I feel I'm in on this crazy secret, but it is simple. The, the beauty is in the simplicity. So give that all a try and please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you want more speed programs with progressions and sets and reps, feel free to check out my online programs and my eBooks linked in the caption below. And I hope you guys love the content. I'll see you next time.